From the moment he appeared in the St. Peter's Basilica balcony, it was clear that Pope Francis' papacy would be extraordinary. Born in Buenos Aires, Argentina in 1936 to two Italian immigrants, Jorge Mario Bergoglio led a modest and humble life. A lover of science, he financed his studies in chemistry by working as a janitor and a bouncer. But after a moment of epiphany, in 1960, he took vows of poverty, chastity and obedience and became a Jesuit. Prior to coming to Rome, he served several roles as a bishop in Argentina and neighboring Uruguay. In 2001, he was made a cardinal by Pope John Paul II. Following the Pope's death, in the 2005 papal conclave, Bergoglio received the second highest number of votes, behind Joseph Ratzinger, he then became Pope Benedict XVI. In 2013, when Benedict XVI surprised the world by announcing his resignation, Bergoglio was elected Pope, becoming the first Jesuit Pope and the first from Latin America. It was the first time in more than 500 years that two Popes had been alive at the same time. But their visions of Catholicism couldn't be more different. Pope Francis made it immediately clear he aimed to build a church for modern people in modern times. In 2016, he became the first pontiff to say Catholics were divorced or remarried or not excommunicated and should not feel discriminated against. In 2018, Pope Francis formally allowed women to administer communion and serve at the altar. He said women were making a precious contribution to the Catholic Church and should be more actively involved. More recently, he baked same-sex civil union and LGBT plus rights, saying homosexuals have a right to be in a family and calling for governments worldwide to create civil union laws. He also appointed the first African-American cardinal and reshaped the court ledge of cardinals, making it less white and less Italian. In 2019, Pope Francis became the first pontiff to visit the Arabian Peninsula. During his 48 hours visit to the UAE, he met the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar and signed a document on human fraternity, an interreligious text condemning extremism and promoting tolerance and peaceful coexistence. He delivered a historic mass in Abu Dhabi, attended by an estimated 135,000 people. In December 2020, despite the COVID pandemic, Pope Francis announced another historic visit, this time to Iraq. He will be the first Catholic Pope to visit the country and to meet Shiite leader Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani. Pope Francis will hold an interreligious prayer service in the ancient city of Ur, which is believed to be the birthplace of Prophet Abraham, the patriarch of Islam, Christianity and Judaism. The ceremony will be attended by Christians, Muslims, Yazidis and other religious minorities present in Iraq, and aims to show that dialogue and coexistence between religious groups is possible.